Hey, everybody. This is kind of a visual. So if you remember, last week I played for you from the well-tempered clavier, the prelude and fugue in C major, and the prelude and fugue in C minor. That means it's time to graduate. It's time to matriculate away from C and go to C sharp. That's the next key up, C, C sharp. There's only one problem. The key of C sharp has seven sharps. It's ridiculously difficult to play in. <clears throat> if you look at the score, seven sharps in the key signature. Ugh, that means all of these notes, every single note that you see is sharp. C becomes C sharp. D becomes D sharp. E becomes E sharp or also F. F, ugh, it's crazy. And so for every, it's like reading something in one language and immediately translating it on the fly into another language. Very difficult to do. But there is a workaround. Each of these black notes has two names. C sharp is also called D flat. Now you might think, well, Jim, that's just semantics. Yes, yes it is. C sharp is also D flat. The difference is the key of D flat, which is the exact same pitch, only has five flats and is a much easier key for keyboardists to play in. In fact, we see D flat all the time. So, in this modern age, I have the technology to enter all of the notes from the C-sharp major prelude into the computer, press the buttons that make the key change, and voila, it's in the key of D-flat. It's the exact same pitches on the keyboard, and the listener won't tell the difference because it's the same notes on the keyboard. But I can change the key into D-flat major, and that makes it, oh, so much easier to play. So you can call me a cheater, but that's okay. Here is the prelude and fugue of J.S. Bach from the Well-Tempered Clavier in the key of C-sharp D-flat major. <laughs> 